Hi there. Today you will be working on single step story problems. This is an active lesson brought to you by SHIP School Health Initiative Program. Today you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, and space to move. Make sure that when you are exercising, you are not bumping into anybody or anything. Let's get started. Let's start with a fairly easy one. Katie did 10 jumping jacks. Her brother did seven. How many jumping jacks did they do all together? The first thing that I like to do when working with story problems is I like to circle the numbers. These are the numbers you will be working with. Now, I also like to underline important words that help you figure out what operation you will do. In this case, all together tells me that you are going to add these numbers together. Pause the video, solve your problem, and then resume the video to see the answer. 10 plus 7 equals 17. And your solution sentence is what you write to show your answer. They did 17 jumping jacks. Now go ahead and do 17 jumping jacks. During this story problem, I want you to jog in place while I read the problem to you. Mrs. Lenahan loves to run. She ran 35 minutes on Saturday and 40 minutes on Sunday. How many total minutes did she run? Let's circle the numbers we are going to use, 35 and 40, and underline the important word, which is total. Total tells us we are going to add numbers together. So pause the video solve your problem, and come back to the video for the answer. 35 plus 40 equals 75. My solution sentence is, Mrs. Lenahan ran a total of 75 minutes. Good job. Mikey did 32 cross crawls. His cousin Reese did 26 cross crawls. How many more cross crawls did Mikey do than Reese? Let's circle the important numbers, 32 and 26. The important words in this word problem are how many more. How many more means you're going to subtract. It finds the difference between two numbers. Pause the video, solve your problem, and then come back to the answer. 32 minus 26 equals 6. My solution sentence is, Mikey did six more cross crawls than Reese. Now you do six cross crawls and we'll move on to the next problem. While I read this story problem to you, go ahead and do standing lunges. You lunge with your right foot, stand up, lunge with your left foot, and then stand up. There are 182 students in the third grade. Group A did 71 lunges. How many did group B do? I'm going to circle my numbers that are important, and I'm going to underline my important words. In this problem, there's not really a word that stands out to me that will show me what operation that I do, but I will notice that group A did lunges, but group B has not. So I know that that must mean we have to figure out how many group B did. That would be subtraction. Pause the video, answer your problem, and then resume the video. 182 minus 71 is 111. So my solution sentence is group B did 111 lunges. For this story problem, do tree pose while I read the problem to you. 464 people did tree pose at the same time. Then 214 joined in. How many people did tree pose in all? Let's circle our important numbers and underline our important words. In all means a specific operation. I want to see if you can figure it out this time. 
Pause your video, solve your problem, and come back to the video when you're ready for your answer. 464 plus 214 equals 678. So my solution sentence is 678 people did tree pose in all. Great job! Frazier set a goal to do 5,736 squats. He has completed 312 squats. How many does he have left to complete? Ooh, he is going to have some tired legs all right. Let's circle our important numbers. And let's underline our important words. The question is asking how many does he have left to complete? This usually tells us a specific operation. I'm going to see if you can figure it out. Pause the video to solve your problem and come back to the video when you're ready to see the answer. 5,736 minus 312 equals 5,424. My solution sentence is, Frazier has 5,424 more squats to complete. Wow, you did a great job today. Thank you for participating and have a great day.